my name is Eileen. If you don't already follow me, make sure to subscribe below. Today I'm going to make three different breakfast food options and they'll all be high in protein, like at least 25 grams per meal. They're all yummy and delicious and I love them. We're gonna make breakfast bagel, muffins, which are amazing. You literally get eight in one serving and some eggs and whatnot. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, I have no good place to do this in my kitchen, so I'm just gonna <laughs> squat down. Um, first, we're doing the breakfast bagel. I will put the macros on the screen here. I am using gluten-free cinnamon raisin bagel from Aldi. Um, I'm gluten-free because I have a gluten sensitivity, and that's the only reason. Honestly, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest the cinnamon raisin. I like cinnamon raisin. Cinnamon raisin. I like it better with just plain bagel, but whatever. I'm gonna put this in this toaster, and then we'll get started. While the bagel toasts, I'm going to cook one egg and one serving of egg whites. Usually, I spray the pan down first, but I forgot this time. I'm also going to cook three pieces of deli ham. Um, five pieces is actually one serving, but I don't want five pieces on my sandwich, so I just ate two pieces while these cooked. While those are cooking, I measured out 150 grams of frozen berries. I like to microwave mine because I like mine not frozen. I'm now cutting up six cherry tomatoes. It's easier with just like one tomato slice, but I didn't have any big tomatoes, so gotta do what you gotta do. Now putting two tablespoons of whipped cream cheese on my bagel, nice and toasted. Honestly, I would have preferred if I had only put one tablespoon on, but... All right, now we basically just stick everything together. I'm gonna add salt and pepper on top of my eggs. It's a little too much cream cheese, maybe only one tablespoon. Also a tomato just nutted on me, so this is bomb though. And breakfast number two. This is definitely one of my favorites. Shout outs to Brains by Gains. You can check her out on YouTube. She gave me this recipe and I tweaked it slightly, but like not really. Um, but it's muffins, you get eight of them for one serving. It's like 400 calories, like 40 grams of protein, and they taste great. They're also, like, this is literally perfect if you just wanna make them and put them in the fridge and have them as a snack. Like, they're good, they're really good. And super simple. First, we'll start with blending everything up. You blend one whole big banana with eight tablespoons of egg whites. After that, we'll be adding one whole egg and 30 grams of protein powder. I'm using the Bomar Wedding Cake Protein Powder, which I really like. I also tried the Bomar Hot Chocolate and the Bomar Vegan Banana Nut Bread in these, and they're all fantastic. I really like them a lot. The hot chocolate actually might be my favorite. The little peanut butter on top. Um, but yeah, any anything you have, just try it out. Then we're adding one teaspoon of baking powder. And then that is it. All you gotta do is blend it up. I am using these silicone um, cupcake things, so then you don't have to keep reusing, throwing away paper ones. And also they're so easy to clean, like so, so easy to clean, and the muffin comes right out of it. Nothing sticks, I don't have to use any spray. I got like, this whole stack for seven dollars on Amazon. But yeah, pour up. Yep, 
you're going to want to have the oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And after I pour my batter, I put in some little toppings. I really like blueberries, chocolate chips, nut butters, especially with the Bomar hot chocolate uh, protein. It's so good with nut butters and chocolate chips. It tastes like a candy muffin. Also, like I said, these are great refrigerated, so you can have these for a snack anytime. If you are going to work, you could either meal prep these in advance, or you could just wake up, immediately make the batter, stick it in the oven, and then by the time you're ready to go, they'll also be ready. So these are super great, super easy. I didn't include any of the toppings in the macros, so you're just going to have to calculate that yourself. Once you're done putting the toppings on, you're going to stick it in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. They're going to turn out so good. You get all eight of these for one serving. These are so good and they're such good snacks. Highly recommend. They do taste slightly eggy, but I personally kind of like eggy stuff, so. All right, now on to the next. And breakfast number three, we have just eggs with ham and potato and spinach. Super easy, so I'll just take you through it. Um, I usually don't measure my food that much, like especially grams and stuff, but because I'm doing the video and giving you some macros, I am measuring it all. First, I start off with microwaving my potato to cook it. It's just super easy and super quick. I usually put a medium-sized potato. It's 125 grams in this case for three minutes and 30 seconds. Next, I'm cooking two whole eggs with one serving or three tablespoons of liquid egg whites. Then, along with that, I'm cooking three small pieces of deli ham. So once everything is done cooking, I like to add a big handful of spinach under my eggs, stack everything on there, add some pepper, some salt, some hot sauce, some garlic powder, and sometimes I'll add ketchup to my potato too, but yeah. And on the side, I'll have my 150 grams of berries. Very good, very yummy, very nutritious, and enjoy. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. These were super yummy, very quick and easy breakfasts. So let me know if you did. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.